As you mentioned, the resolution passed unanimously tonight, all seven members voting in favor. And the key thing to remember here, this resolution does not actually start a lawsuit. It only tells the city's lawyers to look into the possibility to determine whether it would be worth it. Across the country, dozens of states and counties, including Washington and Spokane County, are pursuing lawsuits against the companies that make and sell prescription opioids. Many argue manufacturers of drugs like OxyContin misled the public about how addictive the pills are. And they tried to hype the sales through misinformation by whining and dining doctors, and going out there without the full information of what could happen. Meanwhile, the massive distribution companies often delivered to counties like Spokane more prescriptions than there are people. Councilman Brianne Begg says in addition to the human toll hundreds of Spokaneites killed from overdoses, the city has been hit hard financially by the epidemic. Our homeless population, our police response, our medical response, our insurance companies, uh, all those things we now are seeing through the lens of understanding the connections to the bad conduct 10 or 15 years ago. So now in order to recoup those costs, the city is looking into joining the other suits against the big companies. By joining, Begg says the city could put themselves in a position to reach a settlement worth millions. Whether such a settlement is likely is what the city attorney will now look to decide. Tonight, the resolution received across the board support from the council. This is definitely a way that those individuals and those corporations can be accountable. I feel like our constituents and community members have had a disservice with this drug and that this is something really important to our community that we should look into. People should pay for the damages they've done to communities. Now, the city attorney will also, of course, look into how much it would cost the city to join the suits or to create a new one. There's no timeline in the resolution for when his analysis should be complete. So as for next steps, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. Mark.